one of the things many of you may have observed while uh, looking at these op amp circuits which we have been uh, discussing so far is that if you take the op amp as a whole it doesn't seem to obey kirchhoff's current law okay here is what i mean let me take our usual amplifier circuit if i have an input voltage vi and this is k minus 1 r and r the output will be k times vi with an ideal op amp and with a real op amp with a finite but very large gain it will be close to this now the current flowing through these resistors is vi by r it's kvi divided by the sum of these which is vi by r alternatively vi appears here also so the current through this is vi by r which also flows through that resistor okay now obviously this current comes out of the op amp but the input of the op amp both the inverting and non inverting draws zero current okay the op amp uh, draws no input current at all so so if i think of the op amp as a whole we know that any closed surface should have the total current entering it or leaving it to be zero and clearly here it is not zero okay the current coming out of the op amp is vi by r in fact i could add a load to it and then a current kv i by rl will flow that way so the total current coming out would also include kvi by rl it will be vi by r plus k times vi by rl and these are zero so if you sum the currents there there and there let's say coming out of this uh, closed surface it is clearly not zero okay so this seems to violate kcl which of course cannot be violated at all but the resolution to this is pretty simple in this picture as in most op amp pictures we have omitted the power supply connections okay so if we do include the power supply connections this is vdd and this is vss okay so the positive supply is connected to vdd the negative supply to minus vss with respect to this ground okay so the currents through these are clearly not zero okay so the current flows through the supply terminals so that's how the sum of these currents will get balanced okay so essentially the current that is coming out of the op amp is coming out of the supply terminals of the op amp now exactly how much current flows through the supplies depends on the internal details of the op amp but there is a pretty simple model that we can use uh, which i'll discuss now so i have the positive and the negative supply okay and the currents into the input terminal of the op amp are zero and let's say the current that is coming out it's called i out okay and the current that is going into the positive supply terminal i call it i plus the current that's coming out of the negative supply terminal i call that i minus okay now a very simple uh, model for this i plus and i minus is that i plus is some fixed value i not plus i out okay if i out is greater than 0 okay rather let me first put this condition if i out is greater than 0 that is 
a positive current is coming out of the op amp, then I plus is I naught plus I out and I minus is just I naught and if I out is smaller than 0, then uh, I plus is just equal to I naught and I minus will be I naught minus I out. Okay. So, this first of all satisfies uh, Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, and in fact, this is sort of a simple model, and not every op amp may obey this model. It could be that the current through the supplies is exactly a constant, and so on. But usually, there is a constant part, and there is a part that is dependent on how much current is being driven out. At least for uh, general purpose op amps that you can buy off the shelf, such as the 741 or uh, 347 or those op amps, this model is followed. Okay. And clearly, if I out exactly equal 0, then I plus and I minus will be the same and equal to I naught. This is a pretty simple model that we can use. Okay. So, for instance, let us make an amplifier out of this. I would not work out the precise details. Okay. So, let us say that the input is a sinusoid, the output voltage here also will be a sinusoid. So, during these parts I out will be positive and during those parts I out will be negative. Okay. So, what happens is that in such a case let us say V out swings positive and negative and positive and negative, then I plus will be following the sinusoidal current, okay, because the voltage is sinusoidal, the current is also sinusoidal, I plus will be following this current and when the output current is negative, it will just be the fixed value I naught and then it will follow this and so on. And similarly, I minus will be, uh, please note the direction of I plus and I minus. I have chosen I plus to be flowing into the terminal and I minus to be flowing out of the terminal. This is not the kind of convention I normally used, but these values are positive. That is why I use them like this. And I minus will do the opposite. When the output voltage and hence the output current is negative, it will be a constant. Otherwise, it will follow the signal and it does that. Okay. So, first of all KCL cannot be violated and it is not violated in case of the op amp. The output current of the op amp comes from the supply terminals. Okay. Now, given any op amp circuit from the circuit analysis, you know how much current is flowing out of the op amp. Now, if you want to get an estimate of uh, how much current is flowing in the power supplies, you can use this model and if the value of I naught is not given to you, you can even assume that to be 0 just to get a feel for how the currents in the supply terminals vary. Okay. 